What do these seven books have in common? Correct, they are the only seven books that I have rated five stars this year. Which tells me that it is time to find my next five star read. So we've seen a lot of other creators do this and today we're going to start ourselves. So this week I'm going to read until I find a five star book. Let's get into it. It's time for book one. Hi, hello and welcome everybody to the video. I'm not gonna talk a lot. I'm kind of scared this first book is already gonna be a five stars. If this is a five star read, then it's just a reading vlog of The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping, honestly, because I've seen this go horribly wrong for people. Like, horribly wrong. And I kind of don't want to be here for months, but I very well could be. I am ready to get right into this book. I don't know much about The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. I just know that it's by Mariana Zapata, and I liked a lot of her other books, and this seems to be a fan favorite, so it's where we're gonna start. I'm just gonna sit back, relax, start reading this book. It's a chunky book for a romance novel. It's about 500 pages. Let's read. give you an update. And right now it is 11 at night. I'm 180 pages into the book. So far, very good, very fun. It is a marriage of convenience, sports, football, romance-ish. He is a football player, but he got hurt and she's his assistant. But she quits because he's kind of emotionless and he has struggles with people. I think he's just not a people person. He's just kind of a loner, which is fine. I like it. I like the chemistry between the two. I especially like her. I think she's a very relatable and very cool character. I'm, I'm having a good time reading it. I did take a break because we were just like doing some roommate stuff. So that was fun. I'm probably going to continue reading it like for a few pages tonight. It's very easy to read, very fun, very quick to read. And I'm overall having a good time. So far, I can't tell if this is gonna be the five-star rate of today. I, d I don't know, but I'm interested in finding out, honestly. I just, I wanna read this book. I'm very into it. Even if it's not gonna be five stars in the end, it's still a very good book that I am very much enjoying. So that's fun, I think. I don't think, I know that that's fun. I also like that the book doesn't just have this romantic relationship, but there's also like friendship relationships that are like going on in the book. Our main character is not only just like having relationship stuff going on, but also like friendship problems and like friends that need help. And I like that. When a book is this thick, you can't just fill it with a romance plot. You need something else. Like the romance plot is only gonna do so much for you. So I like that she has like friends that struggle as well. I think that's good. I think that is very, very good. I'm liking it so far. And I'm just gonna go back to reading and I'll catch you all probably like tomorrow when I'm done with the book and tell you my thoughts because I'm probably gonna have a lot by the end of this. Quick update on the book. I'm 300 pages into the book, okay? The romance is just getting started. The, the worst feeling about the, doing this video is that you... I know by now this is a good book. It's not gonna be five stars because it's just a tad too slow. The fact that the romance is starting like kind of now, it's just just a little bit too too slow. I just... <laughs> I like it. It's a good book. It's a fun book, but it's just, it's not a five stars. It's probably going to end up being like a four stars, which is still very, very good. But I'm just like, I'm so picky when it comes to my five star reads that I just know this isn't going to be it. However, I'm having a good time and I'm just going to continue reading. I'm, I'm in the mood for it. I'm going to finish reading this book today. And then I also, I have to study today. So I'm using this book as an excuse to study later rather than earlier. So that's fun. I'll continue reading and I think I'll get back to you once I'm done with the book because it's not gonna take me much longer. The, the thing that takes me the longest is changing the page because they stick together and I just, I, it takes, sometimes it takes me like 10 seconds to just like get to the next page. It's, it's a tough one. I finished the book. I'm in a dilemma, you guys. I, I wanna tell you my dilemma because the like last part the 
Essentially, the romance part of the book was so good. It was literally so good. I was so feeling it. I was so happy with it. So the second half of the book, well, the second third of the, the third third of the book, it was very good. It was like, it would have been five stars. However, because the beginning of the book wasn't, I'm probably gonna have to say that this was only a 4.5 and it hurts me, but I have to say it. It was so good. It was so much fun. I had a blast, but it's not a five stars. It's because the beginning, the beginning ah, makes me a little bit angry, but at the same time, like I'm, I'm gonna survive. I finished the first book of today and I, I'm gonna pick up another one. This one, this one was fun. Book number two, let's go. We're starting Ruthless Vows. I have pushed this book aside for so long. If you didn't already know, Divine Rivals, first book in the series, was my absolute, like one of my absolute favorites last year. And I've been dreading reading the second book just because I'm so scared of it. And I think today's the day. Today is the day, people. We're gonna start reading this book. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done because I still have a lot of things to do, but that's not what this is about. We're not speed reading. We are trying to find our next favorite book. So maybe this one is it. Maybe this is what will give me those feelings. So let's take off the dust jacket. It always feels like, I don't know, like I'm unwrapping a present, but I am very excited to get into this book. I'm also like extremely scared. I'm not sure what this second book will be. I'm trying not to look at anything that could spoil it. I still remember this. This is kind of like a historical wartime fantasy novel that's like not set in an actual historical world, but it's just so fun. It was so good. The romance in this was like top tier romance. I loved it. And so I'm just hoping that the second book will give me the same feeling. But I cannot know until I read it. So I might as well just do that and just like cozy up and get into this book. I just got chills from the book. It starts out fine. I'm 50 pages in, which is not, it's not a lot. <laughs> Let's just face it, it's not a lot. It's something, but I'm, there is a trope that I absolutely despise with all my life, and that is amnesia. I don't like it when one of them loses their memories. I just, I don't. I also don't like it when the main couple is separated for any amount of time in the second book. I just don't enjoy it. But right now I just got chills because of one single thing and I was just like, I was having a good time. Overall, I'm so far really liking the book. Let me put the bookmark in, which is just a receipt. I'm having a good time. However, I'm not having the best time. And I knew this was going to happen. It's just not giving the same magic as the first book was giving. And that's just because of how this, how the plot is. It's not because of the quality of the book. It's just that I don't necessarily like the way the plot is like working out right now. I'm probably gonna continue reading. I'm gonna just like read through the night. Not really, I'm not reading through the night, but I will be reading through the evening and just like chilling here with my zit cream. So far, the book is good. It's not great, but that can still change. I just don't like the, where the plot is taking me right now. I'll find out. I'll just find out. You're just takes me when he's kissing you. All right, it's a day later. I think by now we can say that I'm not having a good time or that I'm just feeling too much pressure regarding this book. This is up. I finished two Kindle Unlimited romances since we last spoke, none of which were five stars. Don't you worry your head about it. But if you're interested in knowing, I finished Homebound, which was like a kind of small town romance cowboy story, classic. And I just finished Scarred Souls, which I just now realized is part one in a duology. And it's not a finished romance, which is why it's making me angry because cliffhangers, right? That has absolutely nothing to do with what we're doing because I'm still working on this book. I have 
have not read anything since I last spoke to you, I think. I'm on page 58. Um, not having the best time, in case you couldn't tell. I read two Kindle Limited books and about to start a third. It's my coping mechanism. <laughs> Who would have guessed? It's very healthy. I can only recommend you do it as well. I've been thinking of getting the ebook for it. The thing is, I went into this with the mindset that I wasn't gonna like it, which maybe that's not the best thing, but at the same time, I was hoping to love it so, so much. So I think the best bet is actually to get it on the Kindle. I think it will make things easier if I read on the Kindle. I think this is what will get me through the book. And if this isn't working, then we listen to the audiobook. The thing is, I think it's just gonna be a few more chapters that I don't like. And then things are hopefully gonna pick up to a point where I'm actually enjoying the book again because I don't wanna not enjoy the book. That's not why we're here. Although I am kind of in the mood for reading another cringy spicy romance. So I'm thinking that after I finish this one, I'm probably gonna start another romance. I do have some potential candidates on the shelf, but um, we're not getting into this right now. We're taking our time because this book is probably gonna take me another day or, or so. But for now, I'm gonna start reading on the Kindle and I'm hoping that it gets better. Just hoping and praying. It's a different day. It's another different day. And I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I am thinking of just DNFing the book. I can't believe that in a video where I'm trying to find a five-star read, I'm finding a book that I don't enjoy to the point to DNFing it. And it hurts me, especially because it's this book. I want to give it another chance. I'm going to try to just sit down for like another one, two hours tonight to just like try and understand what's going on. I'm going to try and read the physical copy. Maybe that will help. Maybe that will get me in the right mindset. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've tried the ebook. I've tried the audiobook. I have tried. Nothing's working. So my last chance is that I pick this up, I read the next 100 pages in the hopes that it's getting better. I'm currently 100 pages into the book. I don't know why it's so bad. I just hate it. This has happened to me twice before that I didn't enjoy the sequel. It happened to me with Fourth Wing and Iron Flame, and it happened to me with Crescent City and the third Crescent City book. Did not enjoy these. I think I'm cursed at this point. I just don't enjoy it. Good morning, or rather, it's good day would be more appropriate. Yeah, it's half past three. Anyway, I did actually finish Ruthless Vows last night. I kind of had to force myself to finish it after like reading the ending first and going in weird directions, speed reading big chunks of it because I was just trying to get it done. I did not have a great time. This was definitely not a five stars. I don't know what it exactly it was about the book that bothered me so much, but it was something. And yeah, that's just, that's just a fact at this point. It was something that was off with it. I'm gonna put it back on the shelf. I'm gonna just ignore that it exists and think of it only as the first book because that was brilliant. This book, not so much. So after this, which was a disappointment, I have high hopes for the next book, which is Business Casual. Now, this is the fourth book in the Love Light Farms series. I don't know exactly what is going on, but I imagine it to be another small town romance that's gonna be cool. As far as I understand this, we kind of have a one night stand situation between Nova, who's a tattoo artist, and Charlie, who's like a businessman. And the two of them live in this small town where like everybody is meddling in every single way that they can. It's a, it's a super cute series. I really, really loved book one, two, and three. So I'm kind of hoping that book four is gonna do it for me. This is gonna hopefully be fun, cool, and I'm excited. Also, it's it's floppy and the edition that I got matches my other editions, so I could not be more happy. 
So this is the plan for the foreseeable future. Unsure how much I'm gonna do today because I still need to do some studying, but I still have time. I have time. This is not gonna take me forever. I also finished another Mafia romance last night. This one, Twisted Emotions. Was it good? That's debatable. It was amusing to a point. I just... It was also very much, like, very, very weird. I did not enjoy certain aspects of it. It was classic mafia romance, though, and it wasn't bad, so that's another fun fact. <laughs> I read a lot, okay? I read a lot, a lot. Anyway, let's start reading Business Casual. And by the way, yes, I am wearing the same shirt as I wore yesterday. And there is a stain on the sleeve here. Probably tomato sauce. I mean, I don't want to be too quick here. I don't, I don't want to be. But this, this has potential. I am 132 pages into the book. 133 actually, but it's so good so far. The chemistry of these two off the charts. It's so good. Again, small town romance. She's a tattoo artist and he's been pining for her for what seems like years, but he lives in New York and he just now came to this town because of a wedding and he's like staying for a month. Okay, he's looking after the Christmas tree farm from book one. So good. So, so good so far. I'm having a really good time. Honestly, I couldn't enjoy it more. They just had their like one night of fun, if you know what I mean. What I think comes next is the pining. The pining after each other. I just, I really enjoyed it, okay? I really enjoyed the buildup. It wasn't too fast. It wasn't too slow. It was just right. I don't know what is in these books, but they're just right. They're so much fun, so cutesy, so cozy. One of my favorite things, by the way, is that this book is set in, like, this kind of season. End of summer, beginning of, like, autumn, fall. I'm just very 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 happy with it so far it's it seems like it's such a good book <laughs> i will probably be sitting here the entire evening just like continuing this book also um i might be lying to you if i tell you i read this i i actually read this who am i kidding of course i'm reading it on the candle it's a romance book i just i can't write this when i can also read this fantasy a different story but romance absolutely this is the preferred way to read romance this this is just a trophy also i did read another mafia romance book last night this one it was better than the other one even though it was a little like darker in themes i believe i liked it more just like as a random fun fact because apparently that's my thing now reading books in between the books i'm telling you about but i'm still gonna tell you about these so i read that last night it was fun. And now I'm gonna be continuing this book. I can't even, I can't even begin to explain to you how excited I am to continue this. We have all butterflies. These characters are so realistic. I feel like I exist in this small town. I am loving it. Loving every second of it. It's so, so good. Hold on. I love so many things about this book. I love the way that they represent his ADHD. I love how he's just like a mess sometimes and how he thinks he's too much. It broke my heart when he was just there and he was just saying that he was too much. Hold on, let me grab it. He said, I take up too much space. I want to tell her. I'm loud and sometimes I don't know how to stop talking. I'm a lot. I know that. I can't figure out how to make myself fit. I'm trying. I promise I'm trying. It's all in his head. Okay, he's thinking this. He's thinking he's too much for people and it hurts me so much because I understand him. His inner monologues, they hurt. They physically hurt. And I think they are what makes this book so much better. 
it's the fact that he is struggling. It's also the fact that he's a very, very nice guy. I usually don't like these kind of friends with benefits turns into more situations, but in this case, I'm loving it, which then again shows that it's not the trope, it's just done bad, and in this case, it's just done very well, which makes it very, very good. I'm very happy to read this. It's over. It, it's over. This book was good. It was so good. Five stars. Five stars, you guys! It happened! Okay, there's bonus chapters. I'm gonna read them later. They don't matter right now. We're gonna talk about this book because it was so good, okay? I mean, you've seen my reactions to the end of it. I am so, so happy with how it turned out. This is, I feel like, the perfect romance to start the fall season, first off, because they're, like, organizing a harvest festival. It's just overall adorable and cute. I can take this out now. I am obsessed. I have to say I am very much obsessed. This book was so, so good. If you have not read the Love Light Farm series, please do. I would recommend you actually read them in chronological order, so you will have to wait until you read this book. But Love Light Farms was also a five-star read for me, so who would have guessed that this wouldn't have been as well? <laughs> I'm so excited excited about it. This just, it made me happy. It made me realize why I love reading so much. And that's what five star books are to me. It's that feeling of just realizing that you love to read. Because other books, sure, they're enjoyable. Sure, maybe you might even be like, wow, that was really, really good. I had a great time. But this book made me realize that I love to read. And it's just, that, that's the magic behind it. That's what's a five-star rate for me. I just, I really love this book. It was so good. Oh, this entire series was so good. But now it's over. This is book four out of four. Maybe she writes another one. Maybe she writes more books. I just, I need her to. I really, really need her to. But this also means that the video is over. I was honestly expecting it to go a lot worse. I was expecting it to take me longer, but it didn't. And I'm kind of glad. Let me grab all the books I read. I don't know why I thought that there were more books. There's three. Did I forget a book? I read so much that I can barely remember what I read. I mean, I remember what happened in each of these books. Out of which, by the way, two of them, the romance books, they were great. They were good. Like, 4.5 and 5 stars. This one just could have been so much better. So much potential, but wasted. Three books! Wow, I'm kind of proud of myself. Anyway, with that, I actually get to end this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I certainly did. I had a lot of fun reading these books. It was very chill for me. I especially liked the way that I, like, read the books. It was less stressful for me, so I think I'm gonna keep my reading vlog similar to this one, where I just, like, keep you updated throughout the books and not just, like, actively read with you. I don't know, it just feels easier for me to do because that way I don't feel watched the entire time. I it doesn't make sense sometimes. My brain works a little different. Anyway, I hope you have an awesome day. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing if you don't already, and I will see you soon. Bye, everybody! I do- I have the feeling I missed a book, but I don't think I did. Because I was thinking about seeing me to sleep, but that was a different reading vlog that I did, wasn't it? That was the 24-hour reading vlog. The 24-hour reading thing? It's not been that long. I don't remember anymore, okay? I'm lost. I'm just- lost. Who knows? Um, I checked my Kindle app and it doesn't say anything else, so I think I just read three books and the third one was just good. I'm kind of flabbergasted right now, but I'm very glad. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye!